Hello and welcome. In this YouTube, we're on Kitsap Lake. I want to do something special for you bass fishermen. Where do those big guys lay out into the lake here at Kitsap? I'm going to give you a GPS coordinates here pretty quick. But just at the tops in these grassy areas where they actually are in 10 to 12 feet of water, maybe 15, and then it drops off. Take a look topside and the GPS. This was the best spot for big bass in Kitsap Lake. Could not believe the size of these fish that were in here. Really, if you're a guy that likes to try and catch the big one, there it is right there. Let's take a look at the seafloor now out in 20, 25 foot of water. That's about as deep as the lake is in some areas, they say deeper. But this was pretty much what we saw in the deeper waters. A few plants, life of uh, sea pen maybe type, uh, snails, and they look like clam holes to me in the seafloor. It's kind of interesting when you see the different colors of sand versus rock, maybe clay. I'm not quite sure, but each one of those little round holes. Now, see, there's a sea pen or a, or a, or a snail, actually. Probably a big freshwater snail. But as we fly along, we look at our depth finder, and we're still in 22 feet of water. Fairly clear, not that dark green algae look. And if you've just joined us for the first time, I'd like to welcome you to TM Key Film. We are on a state contract. I'm a master contractor, actually. Two, 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 try say that five times fast. And we're researching the different areas in Kitsap County from the shoreline on the outside of the seafloor out there in the marine area of salt or the marine area of fresh we're doing both lakes and salt water and this happens to be one of the lakes kitsap that we're studying thanks for watching everybody bye bye